think I pushed the button. Push the button. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too mm. much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. If everything's so hunky-dory here, why are all these synths trying to escape? Septic. I don't know. Interesting. Why well, have a radio if there's nothing on it? If I can't get out. Only opens with a key. Don't have the key. Ah. Uh. Oh. Sean. Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please, calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. No. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. 
Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I am Jesus. Thank you for bringing me here. Seriously. Why? Why make... Alright, so the synths, the new ones, are molecularly almost identical to humans, so I'm going to assume that they grow and develop. Are you following? Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human. DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. 
He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> I don't expect you to understand or agree with the decision. The Institute took advanced the two technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it, too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? <sighs> I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. 
Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in Bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. Excuse me. It's very clean here. Man, if that wasn't a whole Luke, I am your father moment, I don't know what the hell is. That was just screwed up shit. really sad. I think I would lose my mind living in this place for so long. It's too clean. It's too sleek and empty. I don't know. Too sterile. That's the word for it. It's too sterile. Sense project, weird. Those are desks, so... I mean, he wouldn't just leave it lying around, would he? Just in a desk somewhere? <laughs> nah, no way in hell. There's a lot of desks around here, though. Ah, he left it in the toilet. Really? <laughs> nope. No, not really. Bobby pins, that's a good thing. Broken light bulb. Why that's in a drawer in the bathroom, I don't know. Not sure I want to. Hello? Oh, 
this is uh seems to go a long way down. What's up? This looks like a really fancy missile silo. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Um. Hey. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps that's a reason to disassemble it. We can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Excuse me. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Scanning. Subject identified. Greetings, sir. The rest see me as little more than a glorified repair man. But I'm as much a scientist as any of them. Hey, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. If that's how you feel. Why not leave? Because we could do so much more. And no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential. That's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Mm-hmm. All is not well in paradise. This is a pretty snazzy oh, helmet you got there. Uh, <coughs> Nothing to report, sir. Uh, can I have your helmet? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just want to give it to my, my, my wife. That's all. My new wife. Since you fuckers killed my old wife, I gotta remember that shit. I get too cozy. People seem to like hoarding broken light bulbs. I'm gonna make the same recommendation I did last time. We did everything we could. Four years dedicated to preserving this Commonwealth Provisional Government. You've seen the same reports I have. It's falling apart and fast. We need a plan for what happens when that fall is complete. I know some of the other divisions have suggested we just cut off all contact, hide underground and pretend nobody's home. That would, in my opinion, be a mistake. We can't just give up on these people. And with the Android program, we don't have to. We'll soon have the capabilities to deploy androids to the surface in great enough numbers to maintain order. Just, just think about it, all right? Keep it in mind moving forward. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like some Skynet kind of crap. Except run by crazy people. This place is huge. That's kind of cool. Maybe it's not so boring, but I don't know. I need to do more investigating. And I think I'll sign up for this episode and do more investigating later. I'll start from right here. <laughs>